album cover. Her album fly. cover is, is yeah, nice. that's the album cover for Rich Sex. Oh, okay. And so she, um, that was nice. Um, Superfly's soundtrack came out. Yeah, feature produced the whole. Have y'all seen Superfly? Yet? No, seen. have you? No, no, I'm going this week. I'm going tomorrow. That's not what I'm seeing tonight. So. Were you seeing Incredibles too? No, I'm going to see Ocean's Eight. I already saw Incredibles too. It was amazing. I seen Hereditary. I still gotta see. Was it good? Oh, I want to see that. That shit weirded me out. Oh hell no! No, like, and it took like it was slow, but it weirded me out. And at the end, I I, it scared the shit out of me. Oh no! no. At the end, yeah, a horror movie. And we'll get on the horror movies because some new ones are coming out, which I had already talked about before. You like horror movies? Yeah. I do. I I like all genres of movies, but I like horror movies. Okay, so was it good? Like, was it scary? Because I want to see a horror movie. Go see it. Okay. Go see it. Now, I'm going to say it does. it does. scared you. I'm not going to see that shit. No. Okay. It does pick up. I mean, it is kind of slow and stuff, but you got to watch it because you can miss something. But there's some parts that be like, oh, shit. It, it weirded me the fuck out. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. it weirded me out. Yeah, Drew, go see it and tell, tell me about it. I don't do scary movies, man. <laughs> um, no, nah, nah, I hate them. But I, I hate movies when like, <laughs> like them paranormal movies, like well, Insidious. Well, and save, okay. save that. I we'll get on that because we we, we got to talk about some movies, so we're gonna get on that. But Superfly, the soundtrack. If you have not gone see the movie, go see it. I heard nothing but good things about it. I'm gonna go see it. Um, Future produced the whole album. It's a double disc too. The Superfly. Um, I just got the 13 tracks. So nah, that's like no. 22. Okay. 22. Um, but features on there, of course, majority of them. Um, but we have um her, we have um Miguel is on there. Yes. Um I Khalid really is like on it. there. Those two people. Oh, okay. Yeah. So actually Khalid and her have a song together um called of This Way. It's do. actually really good. But then most of the other tracks are just future. Um, so you are. definitely have to go get that. Um, Dej Loaf dropped a new song with this artist called Leon Bridges called Liberated. Is it good? It is, I actually. Like her. I, I like Dej Loaf. Like Even though I know you guys are not really here for her. I like, I like Dej Loaf. She right. <laughs> now she's all right. I mean, she all right. I mean, she all right. I like Dej Loaf. I couldn't stand she needed to put out more aggravated. music. Like, she just she does a lot of features, though. Yeah, I know that she she's always featuring on someone's yeah. album. Um, so she dropped a new song, um, of course. Um, are we going to talk about the Jacques album? Um, 4275. Straight R&B. I just downloaded yeah. it today. It's straight R&B. <laughs> Jacques is, uh, he's um, one of my newer R&B artists that I listen to. So he's really good. Straight R&B. Um, because that 90s vibe. I can't even R&B. start. And he has a lot of people on there. He has Trey Songs. He has Jagged Edge. He has Latasha from um, from Escape on there. Um, I know I'm missing some other people who he has on there. Um who else he has? Young Thug is on there. Chris Brown is on there. Dej Loaf, yeah. another feature. She's on there. there a lot of songs together. So, yeah, the album from beginning to end, I can't stop listening to it. So, um, definitely check that out. Um, Luke James dropped a new song. Yes. Um, it's called These Arms. And it's amazing. If you wow. guys have not heard it. I love Luke James. James. Yes. Oh, I love it. You heard it, Drew? Yeah. You guys heard it? No, I haven't heard okay, it. Okay, download it. It's really, really good. Um, Swiss Beast dropped a new song. <laughs> It's called It's Okay. Is it, is it okay? It's, it's is it okay. okay? <laughs> yeah, right. It's okay. It's a cl- it's Swiss beat. It's definitely like a party joint. Yeah, it's a Swiss beat track. You can hear it in the club. I just, um, it's a Swiss beat track. Egypt I'm just going to. Hmm? Little Egypt. I don't think it. No. Oh. No, 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 no. Isn't that the one they play the drums? Yeah, with the hair. Um, we talked about Beyonce and Jay's new album, Everything is Love. Um, Nas's new album. Push back because of Jay-Z and Beyonce. Was it? That's no, crazy. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. But that's, what, that's what the streets are saying, though. Like, they're the saying, saying. Nas album came out yesterday. Beyonce Hole came out today. And nobody's listening to Nas. Like, Did you listen to the Nas yeah. album? Did you like it? Yes. Okay. I haven't listened to it yet. Yeah, I haven't listened okay. to all of it yet. Like it. And Jay-Z finally won that beef. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to take it back to that. <laughs> are we taking it back to Ether? Are we really going to go back to Ether? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you can't come back from Ether. I mean, who do you think got bodied? Oh, Jay Z. Jay Z got bodied. Bodied in what? In the rap beef? Rap right between Jay and Nas. You don't think so? No, no. Super ugly nah. was okay. super ugly was, was trash. trash. It was trash. What about takeover. Nas. Takeover. Then Ether came out. Yeah. Right. So I'm still rolling with Takeover. I'm rolling with. I'm rolling with Ether. Ether's just a bunch of jokes. Like Look he really wasn't saying anything. Are you serious? Barding. Take nah, nigga. Jay Z. He barred him on Takeover. You whack. I'm not rolling with Ether, man. Okay, don't roll with it. Ether's Ether. like a bunch of your okay. mama jokes, man. Ether won, but he got the last laugh nah. of this album. I'm not rolling so. with Ether, man. <laughs> but Beyonce had to help him with it, though. It don't matter. He won. He better kept. He should have kept. I can't believe you're not rolling with Ether. I'm not. Nah, I'm rolling with Hov. 
tape over. You just said Sorry. all this shit about this Pusha T shit about what he said and it wasn't no damn bars. And here you go talking about takeover beef. Pusha either? T had bars on that. Yes, on the story nah, of Adi Dani had bars. Yes. No. All right. I'm not doing this. Right I'm not. Um, okay. <laughs> and then there's this other song. You might not know her, but you know, I listen to all types of music. This is artist called Queen Naja. She's got a new song called Medicine. Okay. You listen to her? Yeah, I know that song. Yeah, yeah it's dope, right? I, like it. I love it. Do you guys know who Queen Naja is? No. Absolutely not. No. Okay. Check it out. It's on Apple Tunes. I'm um, Apple Tunes. It's on iTunes. <laughs> Apple Music. <laughs> Sorry, Apple. You know, I love you. Um, it's on iTunes. It's a really good song. Um, it's a good R&B song. Yeah. It's a good, good R&B song. So definitely check it out. So do you feel like going back to Jacquees' album? Do you feel like is that new love making, sex making yeah, album? Yeah, he's a new. Yeah, he's a new pretty. Yes. Rich. I'm not a big Jacquees fan. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry. I got Jacquees some songs for you to listen to. Yeah. For no, Jacquees. he makes good music. I just can't listen to his voice consistently. Oh, okay. Like he's, he's like, gonna make babies. Ah, uh, yeah. Like it, 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 it could get annoying. Yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, he makes really good music. It's nothing against yeah. him. It's me. It's all me. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't listen to his voice. Yeah. She's you weird. gotta take it in doses. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I feel the same day. way about Scissor. Certain times I can't. I so can't, I'm, not I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk song. about Scissor, exactly. but on the yeah, Na- that's that's Trey Songz, on the on Trey Songz, on the Nas album, did you like the song with Diddy and the Dream? That's one of Diddy and the Dream. Yeah, Diddy's on Not for Radio, and then the Dream's on Everything. Yeah, and Adam and, and Eve. Adam and Eve. Yeah. You already know how I feel about the Dream. Yeah, I love the Dream. By far, one of the that's best sense. ever. Y'all like the Dream? Oh no, I was wondering uh, what. you Oh yeah, I'm about to say now. Yeah, don't get me started. Now the Dream. The dream can make some it's my favorite R&B artist of all time. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't say my favorite R&B artist, but he's a okay. hot ass producer for favorite sure. R&B yeah. He's a wonderful he's a writer. Between him and Sean Garrett. <clears throat> oh yeah, I Sean love Garrett Sean Garrett. Garrett. Yeah, Sean Garrett, Garrett is so. The dream he makes you good music. <laughs> Well, who? Like Chrissy Namillion and Nivea. Yeah. It was a dream, yeah. Yeah, but they music was... But you know that whole... Did you, that whole, like, train of was relationship was just so way. crazy yeah. because Nivea has a baby with Lil Wayne. Yeah, that was... Lil Wayne was dating Chrissy Namillion. Nivea now has a baby with The Dream. And then The Dream has a baby with Chrissy Namillion. Chrissy Namillion. I'm gonna... Y'all got a baby about Wayne. Huh? I do know Nivea, so I'm gonna... Nivea and Lil Wayne have a baby <laughs> together. Huh? Yeah. Nivea and Lil Wayne have a baby yeah, together. Yeah, I know. Christina Million dated Lil Wayne. Yeah. But Christina Million also has a baby with the Dream. Everybody and then Nivea has but Nivea has babies with the Dream man. too. They have twin who has tw- no they either. Have three. They have three. Nivea and the Dream. And then Christina Million and Dream have one. Right. So it's like I just that whole circle, I was like, damn Everybody it. Sleeping with each other, man. So they all they're all related now. Yeah, well, you know people I stay out of it. And mind you, yeah. Nivea, I mean, that's my girl. She hasn't been out in years, but you know. That's your girl? I think she just dropped an EP. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at you advocating for her. Yeah. Okay. I love Nivea. I went to school with her. All right. I, I, we not, we're not like buddy-buddy, but I have a lot of respect Let me tell you, 25 Reasons was my shit. Yes. And, I, and Laundry Nivea Matt. is very you know, Yes. She Laundry never Matt, got the respect oh, Laundry Matt yeah. and um, 25 Reasons, because I heard she wrote 25 Reasons about Lil Wayne. It was. Yes. About Wayne. So yeah. I love Nivea. I think she was definitely underrated. She was. For sure, because she could sing. And I think she was R. Kelly's prototype or protege because he did she that did song. With yeah, him. with him. Right now. K. Michelle was doing a lot of work for R. Kelly too. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I do know that because remember when she came with that song, um, I Care For You? No, I Can't Do It Without You. Mm-hmm. That was for her and R. Kelly. R. Kelly was actually like helping her when she first started. So yeah, um, that's all I have for me. R. Kelly? Oh, back to, <laughs> shut up. Scissor. So Scissor put a post on her, um, IG page and she said this time a year ago she dropped the album that she never thought would get the reviews that they did and you know she deals with depression and just want to be normal and not in the spotlight so she said that in her post that she has more to come so I know at one point she was talking about retiring and not doing the more music because she felt like she couldn't just go out and be normal with her friends so I think she's gonna drop something else soon but she had canceled a lot of her tours because she said her voice yeah her because she was, was here like, in Raleigh actually she lost her voice at a show yeah, or something she lost her voice so when she was in Raleigh um Kendrick Lamar she didn't come out mm-hmm. it was her her Kendrick Lamar <coughs> Rich the Champions Kid yeah she been taking the champion tour the champion tour. knockout or something like that because her vocal cords was was strained yeah and speaking of music Anita Baker Raleigh was here is, so. on um her farewell tour <laughs> And she did an amazing job. Well, you know what? Well, don't see, put some respect on her name now. That's icon. She's legend. And it's 
Spiro toy. You're not gonna. You're not gonna do, you're you're not gonna do that Baker to Anita Baker because that's like one of my favorite all time artists. Yeah, she, I love Anita Baker. Yeah, I love Anita. Well, she was here in Charlotte last week and she brought Fantasia out and she brought someone else out too on stage. Um, but I've been hearing her shows obviously been selling out like crazy. Her tickets are fucking high because in Atlanta I at the Fox did. Theater they wanted like four hundred dollars for a ticket. Wow. Well, how much was it here? It was for the seats I wanted. I was I left for Vegas that night, so I couldn't go. But there was like one fifty for the seat I wanted. She brought out Rosa Parks. Yeah, with her. Um, you were ignorant. You know what? I hate you. Throw you away. Go away. Can we get some boo? Like, like a boo. He's not gonna boo himself. Right. You know what? Who would be a dope black album ass collab? Um, SZA and her. Yes. You don't think they'll come here for that? No, because she has that little low alto, and SZA has that different. I'm here vibe. for it. That would be dope. Like super, super dope. Okay. If Aaliyah, if Aaliyah was allowed, I would say Aaliyah and her. Mm. No? no? I don't know. I think so. No. They'll clash. That's no. Why do you clash. think they were clashed for? No. Because mm. Aaliyah's Aaliyah, Aaliyah and she don't need no help. I think kind of. Hold up. First of all, <laughs> Aaliyah's not a vocalist. She, really she, was, a, no she help, was a performer. Though. She don't need no help. But no, but she can sing. She did. She she had that one <laughs> ballad that she really showed y'all she could sing. I got to find a ballad. She, was she, she did. Um, she was singing in the rain. Yeah. How could uh the one I gave my heart to? The one I gave my that was on um, one in a million yep. album. Yes, I miss. I'm not. Ro- I, I miss her. Alive. You know, I honestly, if she was alive today, I don't think she'd be singing. I think she'd just be doing touring. I think she would be acting. She'd be doing more movies. More acting. Cause they, and then people are like, no, I think she'd be singing. But I say, name um, one '90s artist that's still like presently making consistently hits. Brandy. There's no one. Monica. Well, Brandy, it's I'm a diehard hit. Brandy fan. She's right. not making now. I'm a it's not, hit. That I, I'm the way I someone feels about Beyonce is how I feel about Brandy. Trust me, like that's. Yeah, no and Brandy. I love Brandy too. And like, trust Monica. me, like she's on my phone. Like that's wow. who I love Brandy. Like I'm a diehard fan, but she's not making music like that. She's doing more acting now than anything. Exactly. And she needs to drop a song. She dropped a song last year called Begging and Pleading, but that was it. Like she's not doing nothing. Mm-hmm. And she was on um whose album um, Tedrick um Tedrick um Hall. She was on Janae's album too. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Killed that one. Janae So, yeah, that's all I have for music. Did I miss anything this time? Georgia Smith? Y'all listen to her? No. 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 R&B artist, Georgia Smith? No. I don't know who she Never is. Never heard. Wait a minute. She's is good. that the one that dates? Um, No, that's Georgia Rain. Never mind. Yeah, I have to say that's Georgia Rain. So, I did I miss anything they... besides her? Uh, Kate Cuddy and Kanye? Yeah, I have to say. <laughs> is that a new album? Kate Cuddy and Kanye joint album. Kids he goes. Yeah. I cannot find that album. It's on Apple Is Apple it music. good? Yeah, it's real good. It's, it's finally on Apple now? Mm-hmm. Okay, I got to check it out. And what I mean, else? The only I place have? it was was Apple. What time, right? No, it was, it was just on title. title. Was it? They threw oh, it, it on title, title first. Yeah. That's why I couldn't find it. Um, what do I have, CJ? Uh, did we talk about ASAP? ASAP Rocky. Oh, what happened with him? His album just came out. I think we talked about it last time. Testing. Yeah. yeah, you said you didn't like it. You said you didn't yeah, like I it. Didn't, yeah. All right, that's it. Yeah, that's all. So I hit everything just about. Yeah. Good job, okay. CJ. Can I get some clap? Oh, no. Never mind, it's too late now. Yeah, right. All right. Sometimes you'd be hitting it like on cue. Yeah, I forgot about you. Matter of fact, you know what? I can get you right there. <laughs> Drew, they gave you a pay raise. Please did, acknowledge the pay raise and be on cue. I think it's a mess. Well, we'll repeat yourself you get your clown. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> CJ for the good uh, music session. Thank there you, we thank go. you, thank you, thank there you. There we go. You, thank you. All right, okay. all right. What we got next on the uh, on the drawing board. We need to get something juicy. Um, got me for about ten more minutes. Well, you want to um, shit. No, nigga, I gotta leave. I'm not uh, talking about sports, so that's that's out of it. Um, so Drew's you, okay. You Drew's not pissed about sports because the Cavs got swept. He's pissed. Were you surprised? Yes. Let Are me tell you. you that. Okay, so I seen yes. that I was in Vegas when I was How watching. Long you gonna it. hold on to this? Why Whatever. did LeBron like he was pissed? Like yeah. five minutes, he just said, "I'm out of here." He just walked off. Is that the last game. His man purse? No, oh, and the be last better. game. <laughs> be better tomorrow. It was like five minutes into the game. He checked it, out. And he just he left because he, he knows out. that he's not coming back to the Cavs. Like he did everything he could. I'm a well. He threw fan. the towel in the trash yeah. the game before that. So I mean, he did everything he could. I can't do nothing. You else. can't do it alone. Boy. But I know he broke his can. hand. He tried yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And he broke his hand. Jr. Smith did hand. that dumb shit, and he punched. He punched the. uh that the hand um, went broken. The white board in the locker room and broke his hand. Before, the hand looked real yeah. mobile to me before. I'm not, uh, he was like, oh, my hand broke. No, I'm not talking sports. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's out. 
Uh, the World Cup is actually going on now. Y'all not watching soccer? No, I'm I love soccer, soccer around this time, y'all. No, Who y'all going for? Argentina? Well, my little niece. Plays I like soccer, Portugal. So I watch a little because of Ronaldo, but because the USA didn't make the <laughs> cut, so no I do. She <laughs> my little niece plays soccer. Yeah. They just went. Uh, said my high school little, just went state for soccer. Mississippi. Hey, you reaching? Shout out to Mississippi. Go hey, for it, right? Yes, it's go for how went state. Oh, okay. These ones are soccer. <laughs> you go stop. Well, let's get into yeah, some foolery. Yeah, um, <laughs> CJ, so, now nah, wait, CJ, you posed the question. Let me get this out. Oh, so, you want to pose? You no, you posed the question. Okay. So CJ says, have you ever had a hookup with someone that you weren't supposed to have a hookup? 